Friends, we're gathered here today as we celebrate on this beautiful October day, a very special day for Chris and Lindsay as they make commitments to each other and to God. And so on behalf of them and their families, I want to welcome you. We're glad that you're all here. And now as we begin this special time together, I want to ask the question, who is it that gives this woman to be wedded to this man? Would you just remain standing with me as we just pray and commit this time to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we're here today to celebrate the marriage of Chris and Lindsay. And we just thank you that you are present here. We thank you that you are the one that created marriage. And so we ask from the very beginning of this time together, this ceremony, that your grace and your love and your mercy would be given to Chris and Lindsay. And we ask God, not just for today, but throughout their entire lives. We ask that you would surround them each day. We pray that they would learn what it means to live life together in relationship to you. And we ask that they would learn what it means to be loved, so that they would be able to grow in their love for each other. And we ask this in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated. Okay, today I'm doing a reading that might be familiar to some of you. It's taken from the Bible from 1 Corinthians, chapter 13. Reading verses 4 to the beginning of verse 5. Love will last forever.
Love is the arms that are holding you. Love never fails you. Those are my words of encouragement for both of you today. And now, as we share your vows together, we'll invite the girls and the guys to come on back up. And Lindsay, I'd like you to maybe give your okay to your sister. Okay, okay. And Lindsay, I'd like you to repeat after me to Chris. I, Lindsay, take you, Chris, to be my husband, my constant friend, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends, I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, in joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals, to honor and respect you to laugh with you and cry with you and to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And now Chris, I Chris take you Lindsay to be my wife, my constant friend, my faithful partner and my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, in joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you and cry with you. To cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And now as a symbol, the third thousand is just me. I, Lindsay, give you this ring as a symbol of my love. And with all that I am and all that I have, I pledge you my loyalty and devotion until death separates us. I, Chris, give you this ring as a symbol of my love. And with all that I am and all that I have, I pledge you my loyalty and devotion until death separates us. For as much as Chris and Lindsay have consented together to holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and before this gathering of friends and family, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. What God has joined together, let no one put apart. Chris, you may kiss your bride.
friends, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you today Mr. and Mrs. Chris and Lindsay Knopp.